morning, Ian. Morning. It's around 62, equaling the course record here at uh, Wingate Park Country Club. One of the long and old clubs here in Pretoria. What did that mean to you? Um, yeah, it was definitely a special round. The putter got very hot, um, but I think uh, it's, it's breaking barriers. I think that's what it meant to me. So I know I can do it and I'll just take that confidence with me into the future events and maybe even this round. Tell me, was that 62 your lowest uh, round ever? No, it's not my lowest round. Lowest. I've shot uh, a 60 mm -hmm. in America and then two 61s as well in America. So you, you've got it in you. And tell me, when did you, tell us how did you feel? When did you know that, uh, that you were in the groove for the day? Um, to be honest with you, it was sort of an autopilot day. I never really thought about the score. It all just happened. And to be honest, I didn't hit the ball like fantastic. It was just a flat stick was, I mean, the hole was this big by the end of the day. So everything just went in. Well, 22 putts <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and a zero putt. Tell us about that hole. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, the par four. Um, the, it was a one, two, three, fourth hole. And uh, I pulled my my pitching wedge just left of the green into the bunker and the pin was back right so it was kind of a tricky shot and it was against the upslope which made it even more difficult and I just hit the perfect bunker shot pitched it halfway trickled up center cup um, and uh, yeah it was a little bit of a surprise and what can we expect from Ian tournament leader on the final round I'm just gonna stick to my routine try and play for under the hole give myself uphill putts uh, and if, if the putter can catch uh, some fire again then uh, we can post her like a low one. All the best. Thank you. Um, the first hole is a good starting hole. Um, normally I was hitting four or five iron off the tee to keep it on the right side, but there's a big overhanging tree on the left that um, covers the green, so I decided this week to hit drive off the tee to make it a bit shorter. Um, there's two good uh, bunkers short of the green, left and right. Um, they usually put the flags left and right behind the bunkers, and the green is quite firm, so it's quite tough to stop it from 60, 70 yards out. Here we are with the final round of the Big Easy Road to number 10 at Wingate Park Country Club. Gerard Pepler currently at minus 10. Taking the driver of the first, which is a bold approach. One of the longer eaters out on the tour. Matthew Rushton also with the driver currently at 11 under. And our tournament leader Ian Sneijman. 12 under after his uh, record equaling 62 in round one. Matthew having to punch out of the left hand rough, unfortunately, got caught by the trap. Gerard trying to fly the bunker, unfortunately, coming up a bit short. They have a tricky bunker shot left. A tournament leader with a fantastic tee shot coming in over the bunker. He's got that one to sit nicely. Left himself three feet to start off. Matthew now from the bunker. Fortunately that one catching the down slope. And to leave him a bit of work for par. Harad also from the bunker. Good hands, delicate little shot, good chance for to save par on the first. Matthew now, little downhill putt for his par. Fortunately he was up and out of that very quickly. He's left himself a tricky little three-footer for the bogey. Not the start he wanted. Gerard now. That's a great up and down. Remains at 10 under for the tournament. Currently two behind the leader. Who has a chance to put pressure on the field? With this putt. 
Man's putt has been not the last couple of days. Moving to 13 under, now leading by three shots. Unfortunately, bogey for Matthew, dropping him to 10 under. Not the start he wanted.